I'm Jenna Fawcett. I am a senior here at Wilmington College, majoring in political science and history with a minor in race, gender, and ethnicity. I'm from Tiffin, Ohio. So I wake up usually around eight, sometimes I wake up a little bit earlier. Um, and the first thing I do is go make coffee. I'm a huge coffee person. I got an espresso for Christmas, so I've been really, really into the fancy coffees. Um, sometimes I make something for breakfast right away, sometimes I don't. Um, and I get dressed and, you know, do makeup, do hair, whatever's going on. Um, sometimes I have homework to finish up in the morning, um, so I might work on that. So I only have three classes. One is fully online. I'm an intro to marketing. Um, so usually like on Mondays, I log on, see what's going on for the week and then work on that stuff throughout the week. Cause it's not, um, we don't have Zooms or anything. So it's just fully online. Um, and I work on that throughout the week whenever I have time. And then Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I have my senior research class for political science. Um, and so we kind of all work independently and then Audrey will help us with stuff. Like right now we are finally working on our data. So that's what I did today. I'm on my way back to my apartment. I just met with Audrey for my political science research. It was a lot, but I think we're on the right track. So I'm grateful that I have a professor like her that's willing to help. My research is on voting behavior and I picked 10 Northeast Ohio counties and I'm looking at voting from 2012 to 2016 in the presidential elections and then some of like social factors. So I'm looking at poverty, employment, education and seeing if there's any correlation in like vote flipping because that was a big phenomenon. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have World Wars with Ann Daniels. Um, there's just a lot of reading to do for that, but my class schedule is actually pretty relaxed, which is nice. I like living on campus, especially now I'm in the village, I'm in an apartment, because you kind of get the best of both worlds of like independent living. Um, you know, you can make your own food, you have your own room. Like it feels like you're out in the real world, but also like you're still on campus. So you're still part of like the campus community and it's pretty safe. Um, and then, you know, everything is right there when you need it. So if you're like, oh, I forgot to do this, you can run across campus and it's no big deal. So believe it or not, me and my roommate, usually it's just me and Carmiella, um, play hang person. So we like to quiz each other. Usually mine are harder than hers are. We're big nerds. This really is what we do. Um, so we're gonna play around. Um, oh yeah, here's our, here's our word. I'm up for guessing. E. Yes. The fifth letter. Oh wait. <laughs> uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. Okay. So the second letter. A. No. This is the word, everyone. Oh. No. No. R. No. Come on. D. No. C. No. L. Yes. You want to fill in the letters? Yeah, let me do All it right. here. We'll, we'll switch to blue for what I missed. Third letter is going to be T. I always guess T. Uh, fourth letter is going to be H. Or sorry, yes, H. And the last letter is H. Bethlehem, okay. Well, you witness it here, people. I actually lost. That was a good stumper. So my job at the PRC is an interesting story because I feel like it's evolved so much. I'm actually like the person that's worked here the longest. You know, there's a couple other seniors, but I'm, you know, 
it's going on four years. And so as a, coming in as a freshman, I had work study and I was like, okay, like I need to get, you know, some job for work study. And I had applied to work at the service house. And then I saw Peace Resource Center and I was like, oh, wow, like that's really interesting. You know, this seems like a good opportunity, one, to just make money and two, like it, you know, seems like something to do career-wise, you know, history, social justice type things. And I've worked different projects over the years. We've done a couple exhibits over in the QHC and I've done stuff with that. We built like a little um, house for our like World War I uh, conscientious objectors exhibit. I've done stuff with posters. Um, I've done a lot with the archives here at the PRC doing processing, which is taking clips and staples out of documents, you know, because it rusts through or some of the chemicals in the paper and just logging them into the computer. Um, last year, I worked a lot on um, like quality control for our digitization of documents. So, you know, going through, making sure all the files look good keeping track of where we're at and right now I'm working on quality control for cassette digitization so I'm going through and listening to the tapes making sure everything's recorded right making sure we're not missing anything um, and so there's just been a lot over the years. Currently at the Peace Resource Center where I work for my on-campus job I'm not alone anymore. Hey. Chloe works here also. She's also my roommate. Yep. Um, so what's going on right now? Um, so I'm working on a video for social media for the Peace Resource Center. Um, it was filmed last week and I'm working on the editing process. And we're hitting some bumps, but we'll get through it, I'm sure. Shout out to the PRC Library for... <laughs> for supporting us mm -hmm. and me all these past <laughs> four years. Yeah. yeah, it's been a good one, been okay. a good floor. It was just kind of weird. It was just kind of things falling into place. I knew I probably wanted to pick a school in state that was pretty small. And you know, I had a, a couple other schools. A lot of the OAC schools were on my list. And my high school English teacher actually went to Wilmington. And I was like, oh, I've, I've never heard of Wilmington, but you know, let's add it to the list. Cause it's like two and a half hours um, from where I live. And so not a lot of people have heard of it. And I went on like an inside look day and I really liked it. It was my first college visit. Kind of was like in the on the back burner of like, I really like this school. And then I ended up going to the scholarship competition and I got the presidential scholarship. And so at that point it was like, okay, well, what's the point of going to any other school? Like this is a school I wanted to go to anyway. Um, and now I got this scholarship. Like there's really no reason not to. Um, there's like a lot of other reasons, like um, Spring Lobby Weekend, which is something I'm like really involved in now, kind of drew me in. Um, it felt very personal, like I felt like people actually knew who I, wa who I was. Um, Tim Weirderhold was my admissions counselor. He would like text me, we would email any questions I had. Um, Michael Snar emailed me a lot. And so I felt, and I, I could feel that it was like a real connection, like people knew who I was. Um, I could tell that they really cared about me, that really wanted me to come here. And so, you know, throughout the years, there's been times that I've been like, you know, did I make the right decision? And of course, you know, there's hardships you go through, but, um, you know, it was always my first choice and I think I made the right decision. As cheesy as it might sound, I really do like the hands-on aspect. And as someone who is like a humanities social science major, like it may not be as obvious of like, you know, being an athletic training major who has clinical hours or like being out on the farm if you're an ag major. But I mean, being here at the PRC, um, it's stuff that people don't really get into until after like graduate school of like actually having like archival experience or going and lobbying and it's not like you're just stuck in the library writing papers you really do get hands-on stuff which i like because you kind of get to like forge your own path um and find what interests you and like everyone always says if there isn't something that interests you you really can bring anything you want to campus um and so i really like i think the small size definitely helps of like Really, anything you want to do, you can do. So that is the typical day of the life for a political science and a history major. 
Um, I'm probably the most boring person on this campus. Um, the rest of my night is spent doing any homework. It's usually a lot of reading if I have it. Tonight I didn't, um, which is nice. I got a little bit of a break. Um, and then I just shower and get myself ready for bed. Um, probably watch a lot of TikTok. I'm currently binging old seasons of Survivor. Um, could be other Netflix shows that I'm currently watching, but I just try to relax um, after a long, but sometimes not too eventful day. Um, but I hope you enjoy watching this and hopefully we'll get some more interesting people um, to do these videos and give you an idea of what other students are like um, here at Wilmington College. So thank you for watching.